Hey guys and girls, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Hugh Sea Fishing. I'm out here with Noxit today. First real fall day of fishing. You see, we bundled up. We got both got pants on, both got hoodies on. Oh, we're gonna try to figure it out, adjust the conditions. It was like 90 something degrees the other day. Huge cold front moved in uh, yesterday. We're gonna try to move shallower with the fish. The bait, it seems like whenever uh, there's a big cold front, the bait's gonna move shallower, the fish are gonna follow them. So hopefully fish some docks, hopefully fish some bulkheads and catch some fish. So guys, stay tuned. Winch one out. I, your line sounds awful. Oh, you broke a guide. You broke the insert out. Don't tell me. Hey guys and girls, so we're out here, we've been fishing for about an hour, Knox got two bites up shallow, uh, fall time of the year is a really really tough time of year, it seems like some of these fish go deeper and some of these fish go a lot shallower, so it's going to spread all these fish out, they were all grouped up in the summertime, it's going to spread them out, it makes it very tough, so you kind of got to cover a lot of water, it's kind of going to be a fish here, fish there, um, and every once in a while you'll stumble upon a really really good spot up shallow or out deep where you'll find a huge school. Uh, in the back of a creek chasing shad or you'll find a huge group of sh uh, fish offshore but those are pretty rare so you're gonna really have to hit a lot of spots to get a limit seems like to me we're trying to find one of those honey hole mega school juice spots but uh, we might just go back up shallow where it's a lot better when the water will turn over uh, the deep water gets kind of a lot really icky so that's when the fish and the bait will go shallow and that's where I really like fishing in the fall time but we're trying to we're trying to do something else trying to get better at fishing deep in the fall so, stay tuned. Good one, dude. Oh, 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 oh. So like I said, it's real tough fishing in the fall. So what we're gonna do is we get hit in a lot of spots. These fish are gonna be constantly on the move. Once this big cold front came in, that'll make the bait move really, really fast. Um, and this, the bass will follow them. And I've had, I've had plenty of times where you fish one spot one day and you do real well, go there the next day and they're completely gone. No trace of them. So you really gotta be, Knox will look like he's about to set the hook. You really gotta be on your toes, fishing the conditions and being able to move and drop what you think you know uh, is really quick and keep moving hit as many spots as you can. Uh, that's pretty much the key for fall fishing. Some days you'll have good days, some days you'll have bad days. That's just the way it is. Somebody, somebody tell Knox that he's talented at skipping a jig to make himself feel better. To lie and make himself feel better. Still skipping docks. We, we just caught a couple fishing docks. Uh, I don't know how many we've caught now fishing docks, but nothing huge. I think the one I caught was maybe like three pounds, three and a quarter pounds. Knox, what would you say? Yeah, almost four. Knox is saying almost four. I don't know. We'll, we'll review the tapes. And it still seems like there's no real pattern to where they're at. Um, and we haven't really caught any big ones doing it. I caught one big one offshore on Friday. Haven't, didn't catch any more. But I know a lot of guys are catching them up shallow on docks. Just not us. So we don't know what we're doing wrong, but we're at least catching some fish. It's interesting to see 
that were catching spotted bass off of these docks, um, which is saying, which is telling us that the water is starting to starting to turn over. The spots that want to live out deep, they can't live out deep. They can't survive because there's no oxygen. So that's making them go shallow. They're going to go up to these docks, and that's why we've been catching a couple of spotted bass on docks, which is making sense with why we're not catching as many out deep, uh, largemouth out deep. Where are you going? So it's kind of making sense why we were catching spotted bass up shallow and that we weren't catching very many largemouth out deep. Um, so you'd think the big bass would be somewhere up shallow, but we haven't we haven't figured it out yet. We're still trying though. We got, we're gonna give ourselves like another hour or so and then we're gonna call it because it kind of sucks, but we're still catching some fish. So stay tuned. Hopefully we'll catch a big one. What's happening is uh, these fish are not wanting to eat. I threw some jig on, uh oh, Noxie's got one. I threw some jig on a lot of dock. Oh, thank God. Yeah, they're not going to be like rock salt. Let's go, dude. It's out there for like 20 minutes. So like I've been saying guys, these fish have been super scattered because they're on the move, the bait's on the move. And what these fish are really doing or what the bait's really doing is they're coming from the main lake from where they were all summer, these points. And they're gonna start to use the creek channels and come back further into the creeks. So that's what we're doing. We're catching these fish at different stages of the fall transition as they transition from the summer, summer places where they were back to the fall and winter places up shallow to chase these bait. But what's weird about today is usually in the fall you really want to key in on bait fish. You really want to be throwing baits like a swim jig, square bill, popper. But we had a big cold front, the first big cold front of the year a couple days ago. And that's going to kind of stun these fish. And what I think has been happening is uh, these fish are not wanting to eat. I threw a swim jig on, uh oh, Knox has got one. I threw some jig on a lot of docks and it just didn't seem like they wanted to eat it. They would swipe at it, not get it, and then we'd pitch another bait in there and we'd catch them. Um, I, was, I was at the front of the boat and guys would be uh, catching, catching fish, throwing a slow moving bait like a jig or a shaky head behind me. Usually that's not the case. You can usually catch them on a, a swim jig. So I'm thinking in a week, uh, I don't know what today is. What's today? Sunday. Today is Sunday, October 17th. The cold front came in uh, Friday, Friday night, October 15th. So I'm thinking in a week, it's almost always way better a week after the first major cold front of the year. So if you guys are watching this, hopefully it's gonna be good. Next week, you guys can start to throw more of those moving baits, top waters. But for right now, we're throwing slow moving baits, black and blue jig, and a black shaky head on these docks, and we're catching them. Hey guys and girls, end of the day, me and Knox ended up catching a couple fish, all up shallow pretty much. Knox caught one offshore, but it was definitely a tough, typical fall day where you kind of have to go a lot of places to figure out one good spot where you'll catch fish. Uh, we ended up going up on some docks, flipping on black and blue jig. Uh, Knox was throwing a shaky head for a little bit, but definitely seemed like the jig was getting the better bites. Um, I don't know if it was just because I wasn't fishing in front of Knox that I was catching the bigger fish, but um, definitely seemed a little different. So. Hope you guys learned something. Hopefully this helps out uh, for fall fishing in Texas. Be sure to like and subscribe so you guys can see more videos like this. Um, 
like I said in the video, if you guys are fishing out, I think it'll be a lot better in the next week or so. So if you guys watch this, I think the next coming weeks will be a lot better. Usually the second, second major cold front of the year will be really good fishing up shallow in Texas. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching again, guys.